Hi everybody, this will be part 8 in the character rigging tutorial series. This video is going to describe how to change the radius size of a joint so that way we can change some joints to be smaller or larger compared to all the rest of the joints. So in the previous video we talked about how to change the display joint size. So if I go to display animation joint size, this is the joint display scale. This uniformly scales everything to one size. Uh, so it's really large but what we want to do is we can always also set it up so that some joints are one specific size and other joints are larger or smaller. So I'm going to change the joint display scale back to one. It makes them really small. And I'll close that. So my joints are really small. Some of them could be difficult to select or click on. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of our joints in the outline. I'm going to open up my joint hierarchy by holding down shift and clicking on the plus symbol beside the joint pelvis. And I'm going to scroll down and hold down shift and select all of my joints. So all of my joints are selected. And then in the channel box, I can open it back up. There you go, channel box. Uh, the radius is what determines the scale of that joint. So as default, it's set to 1. Let's put that up to something a little larger, like 3. That should be pretty good for most of the joints. So we can see them and select them easily. So all of my joints are the same size of a radius of three. Now there are some joints that might be difficult to select because they're overlapping each other, uh, like the finger joints here. And what we can do now is come in here to our individual finger joints. We'll select all of those and go to our channel box and reduce the radius down to maybe 1.5 for those. So that way they're not overlapping anymore. Um, so let's do the same thing for the other arm. So we'll say, carpal all the way to the end of the fingers and we'll change that to 1.5 for the radius there. So some joints like the fingers will be better if they're scaled down a little bit. Let's do the same thing for the jaw. Jaw end, eye, eye end, uh, right eye, right eye end, and then change this to 1.5. So that way those eye joints and the jaw joints are also smaller, easier to select. But there also be some other joints like these helper joints that might be more difficult to select if they are smaller. So I'm going to go in here and select the helper joints that I've created, uh, the twist joints for the arms that are around top of other bones, and let's increase the size. So let's do a radius of five here. So that way those helper twist joints will actually be easier to select um, compared to the elbow or shoulder or whatnot joints that are set at radius of three. I'm actually going to leave the helper joints on the top of the shoulders and also on the front and back of the legs where the hip is at three because those should be pretty easy to be able to select. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to change the radius size uh, instead of the joint display size. So the radius size does also get exported out properly uh, with, uh, with the model and with the joints. So it'll make it easier to select specific joints. All right, that'll wrap up this video.